Now, how do you prepare for retirement? I'd like to encourage people to think uh, both about the personal and lifestyle side and the financial side as well. So when you're thinking about the personal and lifestyle side of things, think about what you're going to do with your time when you do retire. There is lots of research out there at the moment and it's an increasing body of research that suggests if you either maintain full employment, full paid employment, or part-time employment, or are engaged in volunteer activities in your community, people who do that are actually in their retirement years or uh, uh, supposed retirement years, people who engage in those types of activities in their retirement years have a lot better health outcomes um, emotional outcomes, psychological outcomes, and longevity outcomes. They live longer. So I encourage people, particularly men, to think about what they're going to do in retirement. Uh, there is much anecdotal evidence to suggest that, or to show that people who go from a fully active, full-time employment role uh, to, um, uh, to, to only leisure activities have uh, a shorter uh, life expectancies. So once you've, uh, I guess, thought through those personal and lifestyle matters, then you can start to think about the financial matters. And when thinking about financial matters, whether you're approaching retirement or in the early stage of employment, you can focus on these things. Paying off consumer debt, so personal loans, credit cards, store cards, car loans, paying off all those as a priority. Secondly, you can focus on saving an emergency fund. And generally, generally, we like to have you focus on putting aside three to six months living expenditure. So if your ex living expenditure is $4,000 a month, for example, we suggest that you put twelve dollars to $24,000 away in a high yielding at call account that's only there for emergency purposes. And that means that you'll be able to um, survive 95% of what life throws at you. The next thing on the agenda is to save for major purchases, and generally that's talking about any education expenses, saving for a home, or a large deposit for a home, um, uh, uh, saving for a car, and uh, also, I guess the other one is uh, saving to start a business as well. They're generally your four major purchases. You might have others there that, uh, that you're saving for as well. The next step is to pay off the mortgage as quickly as possible and then start to build for your retirement savings. And to assist with that, you take advantage of a range of tax saving and asset building strategies. Now we're going to focus on that for the next part of the session.